Okay, so here we have an example where we're going to solve an equation um, using the addition property of equality. And again, we have three. Let's do. We have three plus y equals two. And here we're trying to get our variable by itself. We have y. So that's, we eventually want to get it so that it's y equals something, right? So what am I doing to it? Well, I have a 3 on this side. And remember, because this is commutative, it could be thought of as y plus 3. But so this is a positive 3. So how do I get rid of it? Well, I'm going to subtract 3 from both sides. So I have 3 minus 3 that goes away, so I simply have y equals 2 minus 3, and that gives me a negative 1. So my y equals negative 1. And again, we can check it. So if I say 3 plus y, which is negative 1, does that equal 2? And sure enough, it does, right? 3 plus negative 1 is 2 equals 2, so my answer is correct. Okay, let's try another one. And here we're solving for v. My equation is negative 5 equals v plus 6. So again, I want to get my v by itself. So what do I do? I'm adding 6 to it, right? So not adding, I want to subtract 6 from it. So I subtract 6. What I do to one side of the equal sign, right? I have to do to the other side of the equal sign. So my 6s go away, and I have v equals, I have negative 5 minus 6 gives me a negative 11. So v equals negative 11. And if you notice, it doesn't matter what side I, I put the variable on, as long as I get it by itself. Again, let's go ahead and check. So I have negative 5, does that equal uh, v, which is negative 11, that's what I found it to be, right? We found, so it's negative 11 plus 6. And sure enough, if I have negative 11 and I add 6 to it, I get a negative 5, which equals negative 5, so it checks.